the Insta360 Ace Pro 2 promises to be a game changer in the action camera sphere. Now, I'm going to do eight tests today. I'm going to use the various different settings, various different features that they've upgraded from the first iteration. And I'm also only going to use the inbuilt audio in the camera because it has a new feature, which is a new mic shield. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's go. This is the test of the audio in windy conditions and now also of pure video. So I've gone from bright light into shade and now I'm heading into some trees which are quite dark and let's see how it's dealing with that. So yeah, it's making me bright. I duck underneath this guy and now I'm in the tree line. And this is supposed to really focus in on the facial features. So with the light behind me, you see all of this detail coming through. And now if I'm lit here, you still see I'm lit. So now we're going to go back out again and let's see now what this is going to look like. So I'm coming back out of the trees. So I'm going to go from the darkness. Let's see how long it takes to adjust. Still has me bright. You see the sun is lighting me now from behind. It's adjusting. Still has me in perfect light, even with direct sun behind me. And if I turn back around again, you see that is perfectly fine. Okay, so this is 8K video doing the same test as the pure video. So now going into the shade, I can see I'm quite dark. I'm now going into the same trees. It's still capturing me. Okay, it's the AI chip is working here, I think, making me a bit brighter. Back in now again to the same area that I was. And you can see with the light behind me, still keeping me quite bright. With the light in front of me, still keeping me quite bright. Okay, I'm going to go back out now. So from this shaded area once more, and let's see how that's going to look. So coming out of the trees, still in the shade right now, and now I'm directly in the sun. So the sun is behind me. So I'm still quite bright actually. If I look around here, it's getting me, it's taking a bit longer to adjust, but it still works perfectly fine. And then here, adjusting as well. That's the 8K test. Here's the same test in active HDR 4K, 24 frames per second. So in the sun right now, going into the shade, ducking under these again, dark, but now it's pulling me back up. Now going under the tree and back down now again to the same position that I am for the others. So light behind me, I'm lit. And being front lit, I'm lit. So now we'll come, oops, at a branch. We're gonna go back out. So still in the shade right now. Coming out into the light. And now we lit behind. And again, taking its time to adjust, or is this faster? That's the 4K active HDR, 24 frames per second test. Okay, this is a test now of me behind the camera. So audio is being taken from the front, I imagine, and this is not a microphone behind, but I'm going to do a test on the horizon lock. So I have it at 360 degree right now. If I turn the camera, which is what I'm doing, to a 45 degree angle, is that changing the horizon more? If I bring it now almost to a 90 degree angle, it's still keeping it. So that's 90 degrees. It'll be interesting to see how much movement that comes from. And now it's a full 360 degrees. So if I take it, 90, now we're going to 360. Now the camera is upside down, but it's still keeping it the same. I'm bringing this back around again. Did it move there? And what does the audio sound like? A 
This is a test of the pre-recording, so it's set for 15 seconds. And what it will then do is once I hold my hand up like this, it should start recording, which it is right now. So I can do my talking to camera. I'm around maybe two meters away from the camera, so we'll see what the audio is like. And if I want to stop it again, I light footage test and the microphone is specifically from the camera so no other audio being taken from that looks quite bright using pure audio pure video So what do you think of the footage there? What do you think of the test that I would have done? Looking on the screen of the camera anyway here, it looks interesting how the AI chip is working, but I'm not quite sure is it going to change the look and feel of my skin using the AI algorithms to adjust in the HDR and the low light vents. Overall, yeah, impressed with this camera. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. Thank you very much as always for watching. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment, and until the next time, Schlange vor.